filmmakers have talked about how remarkable your transformation into Thor Heyerdahl was, not only in his manner of speaking, but in his look as well. What aspects of his character did you feel were most important to capture? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, he was, uh, he was a complex man, you know, and there were so many aspects to his personality. So, of course, I had to do a lot of research and try to grasp it. He, he was a believer, you know, but he was very, very strong in the I think that, you know, that combined the, you know, believing in something so strongly and actually you know, going out into the world and, and do the things he believed in. The last scene in the film is really moving because you're playing a mix of emotions. You're laughing, you're crying. How did you convey that so effectively? How did you prepare for that? This was uh, one of the last scenes that we shot, and of course, uh, for Thor Heyerdahl, this was you know, a combination of a lot of emotions from completing his project, and uh, it was also, you know, even uh, us making this film was a much smaller endeavor than what he did. He did. He was the, the end of the journey for me, and sometimes. There are feelings that we have that we don't you know, should intellectualize too much and just go with it. So I don't know. In 1950, Heyerdale released a documentary about the journey and he ended up winning an Oscar for it. If you were going to make a documentary about some aspect of your life, which portion of it would you focus on? Of my life? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question, very difficult question. I was not prepared for, for that. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, uh, we've made documentaries about making this film, and that's probably a valid uh, thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I think that, you know, my life is uh, far less eventful than Thor Heron's life, so I think that I would have to live some more and then decide if something is worth it. Or one about getting through interviews in New York City exactly. while planes and helicopters and everything else is happening. So this film has already found a fan base in the U.S. We see New Yorkers really excited about the film. They're excited about the rap coming to New York. So you could potentially have a new fan base. Would you consider doing films in America and doing theater in America? I mean, you have such an extensive theater background. Well, I mean, uh, first of all, I think that the fan base is, uh, of course, Thor Heyerdahl's real fan base. And, you know, if we can in any way contribute to his, uh, his legacy, that would be a great honor. I mean, and for me, of course, I mean, it's, it's incredible that something we, that we make in the world. I enjoy this experience very much. It's very interesting to meet people all over the world.